Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 9. The last episode of this Season 1, guys. That's it, we're gonna finish this show. I mean, the Season 1 of this show. It's so great, you know, like, you know, that at first I didn't know if I would react to this show or not. Like, I waited for the two first episodes to be out, to discover them, you know, at the same time and to see if it would please me or not. I was a little scared because I never played to the game. So I was like, am I gonna have stuff here really to say about it? Am I really legitimate, you know, to react to this show? And Finally, you know, just the fact that it was so well done and that I was interested by this universe, I wanted to discover more about it and all. And also the fact that it was so well filmed, the music and all, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have stuff to say about it. And maybe, in fact, it can be interesting for people to have the opinion of someone who never played to the game. Like, really, I'm gonna have an objective opinion. I'm not gonna compare stuff, you know. I'm really gonna judge the show for what it is, how it's done. So that's why I reacted to the entire season one and turned out that I truly appreciated it, that they got me really quickly, but I think like all of the viewers, players of the games or not, just, you know, with the episode three, the episode five, <laughs> each time, you know, all of the big long episodes in which we were meeting someone new at the beginning of the episode and at the end of the same episode, that person died so yes we cried a lot watching this first season we saw these two characters evolving their relationship evolving with really the, the top of it at the end of the last episode when they are reunited you know after being separated during an entire episode they are reunited they are relieved to be together the fact that they found each other and it's really like okay now i'm there to protect you I mean, for Joel, it was more on that, you know, like, that's it, my girl. Now I'm there to protect you. And he named her like that, like he was naming his daughter. So it was really to show that now he considers her as his daughter. He wants to protect her. He wants to be there for the, her. He was reassuring her. And her, she was so... I was gonna say disturbed is more than that, you know, after all of what she lived on her own with this guy, David, who was a cannibal, uh, who was also, uh, I want to say a dictator, but it's not really that, like the, the leader of a sect, of a cult, so he thought that he was the god of this cult, <laughs> All of that, I'm not gonna talk about the pedophile situation neither, like, truly that was awful and he wanted to hurt her and she was forced to kill him, so clearly she had to do a lot of stuff on her own and it was difficult, it was rough, and she did it, she managed to do it, she was so brave. So when she saw her, you know, when she saw Joel, it was really like, oh, that's it, that is there, now he can you know, deal with that, like, you know, she was really relieved and, okay, uh, I just want an egg, <laughs> I just want something like that. So yes, for me, that egg at the end of the last episode, that moment was really to show that their relationship evolved so much and now they both know and admit, you know, to each other how important that relationship is like a father and daughter relationship so it's really cool really really cool we saw that during all of this first season we saw them also searching for Joel's brother they found him now you know the only mission that they have it's really about her you know about Ellie taking her to the fireflies the fireflies or anyone you know who can do something with her blood because she might be, you know, 
the person who can save them all. But you know my theory about that, you know that for me, the fact that they created that relationship as a daughter and as a father, the fact that they insisted a lot on Joel teaching her a lot of things, you know, how to survive, how to, to do stuff on, on and all. The fact that he was hurt during two episodes, I thought, you know, at some point that maybe he would die during this season, you know, at the end of this season, like really, he was her mentor during all of the season and at the end of it, he has to die so she can really, truly, fully became the main character. The one who is gonna save them all. The chosen one, you know, and that's really a chosen one story. Now, we saw that she helped him, that she she really, you know, did stuff on him and all, and that he's feeling better. So, I'm not so sure that he's gonna die because of the fact that he was hurt during this episode. I'm not so sure that, in fact, he's gonna die during this season. But I'm not gonna give up on that theory that at some point he's gonna die. Maybe during the season 2. Are we sure that we're gonna have a season 2? Did they confirm that? Tell me if you know. I'm interested. <laughs> you know, to, to have that confirmation, are we gonna have a season 2 or not? So yes, now this last episode, for me, we have to progress, you know, with that mission of finding people to help with our blood. Like, we spent all of the season finding our way, you know, to Joel's brother and to the Fireflies, mixing these two narrative arcs. Now that we have only one, now that they did so many stuff, except that, you know, I mean, for me, they really have to, to meet someone important to, or to have an important clue about what can they do with our blood. We need to progress really on the main narrative arc, the main reason, you know, why this show exists, why these characters exist, why all of that, you know, why we are watching this show. It's, it's the end of the world. Ellie is a solution maybe to save everyone. We have to have something about that during the last episode. I said it, someone that we're gonna meet, something that they're gonna learn, you know, a new clue, a new information which is gonna change everything. Or maybe at the end of it, they're gonna finally arrive, you know, to the place that they wanted to, to reach. Is it gonna be a good thing, a bad thing? Uh, we'll see during the season two. But for me, we need to make a big progress during this episode with that, really, just with that. That's why I don't think that we're gonna meet really new people during this episode. I mean, like we met new people during all of this episode, discovering them, them dying during the same episode. I don't think that they're gonna do that during this final episode of the season. We'll see. But at the same time, two of you guys, I think that it was one on Patreon and one on Twitter, Two of you guys told me, oh, it's the last episode of the season, really prepare some tissues and all, you'll see, you're gonna cry. And you know, I was like, okay, so I'm right, Joel is gonna die. If you're telling me that, it means that Joel is gonna die. Or someone else is gonna die? So it means that we're gonna meet someone else and during the same episode, that person is gonna die. They're gonna do that for the final episode. So I'm a little confused, you know, about these two comments that I had about the fact that this episode would be a crying one. You know that I'm an emotional person and I can cry really easily. Even if I have to say it, today, you know, I'm saying to you when my mood is a little extreme, you know, like really bad or really good, I'm telling it to you because I think that it can you know, it can impact my way to watch the episode and all. Right there today, I'm a little mad. <laughs> Just a little. So normally, it's not gonna impact my way to watch this episode. But maybe I'm gonna be less emotional than normally I am. Like, you know that I'm already too emotional usually. So maybe I'm gonna be just regular emotional today. <laughs> if it can mean something for you. I don't know. We'll see. But yes, you told me that and I'm a little confused. I, I don't see how it can be that. I mean, I think that you told me that because you're expecting this season one 
to hunt like maybe the first game ended. Are we sure of that? Are we sure that they're gonna respect the same chronology? Are we sure that they're gonna respect the same things for you know the, the gap, the thing between the season one and the season two? Is it really gonna be like season one, game one, season two, game two? I'm not even sure of how it works. I'm not even sure that they're gonna fully respect stuff like that. So maybe in fact you're wrong and we're not gonna cry at all during this episode. We'll see. <laughs> I did not prepare any tissue now that I think about it. I did not listen to you. Oh, we'll see. Right? <laughs> I don't want to go to search for one. We'll see. Okay, let's go for this episode. Remember that if you want, if you want an extended reaction part of this episode without the logo into it and all of that, you have my Patreon for that. It's also the best way to support me if you can be interested. So let's go for this episode. No, it's a short episode. I don't think that anyone is gonna die. It's someone new. <laughs> She's gonna die during this episode, that's it. Ellie's mom. I said that we need during this episode to have something about Ellie's blood, you know, to progress with that main narrative arc. I really appreciate that actress and I think that it's the one who was playing Ellie into the game, no? It's not that easy to give birth like <laughs> I'm sorry she didn't push, she didn't do anything. That, that, that's why is the, the, the blood thing? It's not an experiment situation or something like that. To sacrifice the mom to have the kid who can live How long have normally? you known each other? For a lot. So you pick her up right now. And then you kill me. <sighs> you're brave. For sure you're brave. But she lied also, you know? Imagine that Ellie would transform a baby uh, transforming a oh, oh. Thank you for that. And for taking the baby also, like, uh, thank you, man. We're getting close. Hospital mm -hmm. that way. Maybe the one we're looking for. Right. Yeah, the guitar in that RV. It's all smashed up, but got me thinking. Maybe I should find one. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was thinking maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. Mm -hmm. You 
to learn how to play guitar? Really? Oh, you really want to do good. Oh, yeah. He's accepting it now, you know. The bond. Really, the end of the last episode. These two, they admitted it. That they have that father and daughter bond. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff by the scratch paper bubble and crap. I actually missed time I was thinking we'd blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? No, so we're gonna cut through that building, find the scratch <laughs> and look around. You I told it. Oh well. I'll get you up there, you can drop that ladder down. Everybody go through that way. Come on, I'll give you a boost. What is it? Okay. Yeah, fine. Just you kind of seem extra quiet today, so. Oh. And it's weird for her to be quiet. Morning. Two. about something but uh, shh what <laughs> scary oh. what the fuck right. <laughs> is it doing here yeah. first time seeing uh, <laughs> so, is it everything you hoped for? <laughs> Again? Can't deny that view. Look, I don't know exactly where this hospital is. Yeah, we'll find it. Sure. It's just, maybe there's nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. Still here though. I don't know. Together? Well, I'm saying there's rest. We don't have to do this. I want you to know that. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? Nothing. You just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. You want for her to know that she has a choice, but you're also afraid about what is going to happen once Dana ever. It can't be for nothing. And also the fact that they can be separated or something bad can happen to them. I know you want to protect me. You have. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Polly's, sheep ranch. She said we. The moon. I'll follow you anywhere you go. But there's no halfway with us. We finish what we started. For both of you now, it's going to be about we, your plans, together! Is this a fake thing? No. Oh. Survivors? Well, we, we had me one just like this. With Sarah? No, she's gone already. Oh. So what's wrong with you? It's really... That guy who shot me this. I figured that would happen later. Second day. Well, I've got to hand it to the army people. They were way better at stitching up than I was. It was me. Hmm? I was the guy who shot and missed. You tr- Oh, Joel. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. But I wasn't scared either. I was ready. I couldn't have been more ready. Ready for what? Disappearing? Don't you pull the trigger out of flinch? Still don't know why. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this. I don't know why you're telling me all this. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you do. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't time that did it. Oh, 
oh, you, he, he's opening himself to you fully, like really entirely. We should probably get going. Yeah. Oh, it's such a nice and sweet episode. Joel is gonna die. <laughs> You know my theory. So with an episode like that. Uh... What did the green break say? The purple break. Maybe an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I would go for an eight. Fuck. Who? Who? Help or no help? Oh, they're gonna. Maybe they're gonna see that she was. Oi, oi, oi.